A former Waco delivery nurse who helped patients for over four decades is receiving help herself today, marking her 100th chemotherapy treatment. And Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza introduces us to Marlis Williams and her journey doctors and nurses are calling a miracle. It's the call no one wants to receive. Marlis Williams was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2014. She was told she had six to eight months to live, and today, four years later, she's celebrating her 100th chemo treatment. Marlis Williams is all smiles today. Very excited. I'm just bouncing off the walls. But that wasn't always the case. Four years ago, she received the dreaded call from her doctor. It was kind of hard to take it that way. After getting diagnosed, she didn't go into hospice or palliative care. She fought the disease head on. The only treatment acceptable was chemo. And I said, okay, that's what we'll do. Stage four pancreas cancer, unfortunately, is not curable. So if somebody has incurable cancer, we want them to live as long as possible, but we want them to live as good as possible, too. Marlis says three things helped her throughout the journey. Everyone's prayers, turning it over to God, and ignorance. The words are too long, too big for me to remember or to pronounce. I, said, I didn't want to know. In fact, 74% of patients die within the first year of diagnosis. The average survival is about three and a half months, and with good treatment, eight months. This is uncharted water, especially in the pancreatic world, so th this is a feat in itself. And to look at her, I mean, does she look like she's going through treatment? No, she is great. Proving not only to all of her family and friends, but also her doctors and nurses, that miracles do happen. God knows when I'm supposed to leave. I'm just going to keep going each day, and we'll just keep going and keep going until he tells me it's time to leave. Marlis made it very clear that she's not fighting cancer, she's living with it, because now it's a part of her. In Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.